and welcome everyone. My name is Dr. Natalie Caldell, and I'm a faculty member in the Department of Biological Engineering here at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I'm happy to have you here today in my teaching laboratory, and we'll talk about uh, something that's common to all living cells, namely proteins. Now, you may have heard about proteins as something that's important uh, for building muscles or something important for living cells or even something that's built from a building block called amino acids, and all that is true. But today we'll be talking about something else, namely about how you might tweeze apart proteins inside a cell and separate them one from the other. And the reason that you might want to do that is because uh, you might want to purify the proteins for food or for medicines or for materials. So if you were to open up a cell and look inside, you'd see that it's really crammed full of materials. Uh, so full, in fact, that as biochemists or biological engineers, you might need to take apart some of the things that are in the cells and separate the things you want from the things that you don't. So before we start to talk about the techniques for doing that tweezing apart of materials, what I'd like you to do is take time in your classroom there and remember the kinds of things that are in the cells. I've started a chart for you and filled in one of the lines, but if you could take time there and talk about the materials in the cells that are uh, started for you on this chart, and then join me here again, we'll go over the table together. Welcome back. I have filled out the chart and hopefully our answers agree reasonably well. So let's take a look. Uh, there are four molecules in the cell, four main macromolecules. They include the nucleic acids, which are the DNA and the RNA, the proteins, we have the polysaccharides, and also the lipids. All of these macromolecules are made up of smaller building blocks and all play really critically important roles in the cell. For example, the DNA and RNA, are key players in the heredity of the cells, whereas the lipids make up the membranes that envelop the cell and hold it together. The polysaccharides provide energy and structure among, as well as among uh, other roles in the cell. But of the four polymers that we'll talk about, we're going to focus on the proteins today, which are the major workhorses in the cell. Proteins catalyze chemical reactions and let the cells do the job that they are actually supposed to be doing. When we eat foods that are rich in protein, what we're doing is breaking down the proteins that are in the foods, using the building blocks from those proteins to make new proteins that our cells need. For example, those new proteins might be antibodies or hormones, enzymes, or just uh, important cellular structures. So since we're all familiar with foods, let's start by thinking about the kinds of foods that are very rich in protein. In this next slide, you'll see that there are lots of foods that we think of 